Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Writer. In this module, I want to show you a quick way to put tabs on your documents. So, on the top there, I have the ruler displayed. Now, you might not have the ruler. If you go to the View tab in the menu, you've got rulers there, and you can put them on or off. So, I'll just put that one back on. So the, you need the ruler so you can see where your tabs are going to go and where, also where your indent markers are. And that should always be on as far as I'm concerned. Now, a very quick way to get your tabs active or on the screen is to just point to the ruler and double click. And that will bring up the paragraph format box with all these different options across the top. And because I've double clicked there, I've, put, I've actually put a tab there, a left tab, and you can see it sitting there. If I just delete that for now. Um, when I click OK, that'll come off. So if I double click at three, I'm actually going into that tab there. I've not actually got three exactly. So I'll just cancel that again. So just delete that. OK to that. Now, if I just click on the three, one click instead of double clicking, if I just click there. I'm putting a tab on and I can tab to it. That's the point of a tab. And if I click on the seven, just below the seven, you get another tab there and it just jumps to it when you press your tab key. If I want to clear those off, I can actually just point to them and pull them off. Now that's a left tab. You can just pull them into the document and it comes off. Or I could go back into it and delete all, like so. Clicking OK to that just to clear them off. Now, obviously, double clicking on the ruler is a quick way of doing it to get into format tabs. But you're actually putting a tab on wherever you're double clicking. If that's not what you're intending to do, you're probably better off to go into format paragraph. Format paragraph will give you um, all your indents, alignment options, all the way across until you get to tabs. And now you, you can start typing the tab markers in. So if I go new tab, and if I put a leader dot on that, for example, so that's going to have a leader, leader dots like that. And then you basically just type in, so go to new um, six, new, and then eight, new. And I've got that tap, I've got that on. So let's see what happens when I do that. If I click OK, you can see because I've got all these tab markers there, it's putting them off. I'll just backspace that so you would maybe type something press tab, type something else, press tab, type something else, press tab, and that's that's what the leader dots is going to do there, look. Now again, to clear that off, I'm quickly going to double click on the ruler, that'll get me into it, and I can just delete all, start again. So that was a left tab, and you can see how that sits. We've also got a right tab, a center tab, a decimal tab. So I want to have a quick look at um, using a decimal tab. I'll put a decimal tab at six centimeters new. Click OK to that. That's it. Now, if I tab to that, I've got the leader dots off. I type 21.21. .21. I press enter. I press my tab key. I go 1.21. And then the same thing. 123.21 or whatever. I need to tab to it first. Get my cursor in front of it, tab to it. The tab is there on six centimeters. It's just lining it up on the decimal point. So you can type digits in there and have it all, whatever you want on the page. That's what a decimal tab will do. Now, each time you have a tab on the ruler, showing on the ruler, and you press return, it will bring that tab down for that next line. So if I press enter, that tab marker is still there. If I pull it off, now it's not. So if I press tab, I'm just going back to the defaults. But if I come up one line, that's back on. And if I press return again, I'll be bringing that back down. Press tab, it's back over there. So you just have to watch the ruler. That's why I think it's really important that you have the ruler on so you can see where the tabs are or the indents if you're playing with indents as well. So that's just a very quick video is how you can put tabs on through double clicking on the ruler or going into format paragraph and getting onto the tabs area. So hopefully that little video is of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.